The U.S. military has shot down another high-altitude object, this time over Lake Huron. This is according to a U.S. official and a congressional source briefed on the matter. This would be the fourth object brought down by U.S. fighter jets in the past nine days. CNN's Kylie Atwood is at the State Department. Kylie, what are you learning? Yeah, that's right, Paula. And the third object bought down in just the last three days, of course, uh, we're learning that this high altitude object uh, was traveling and shot down over Lake Huron, which is north of Michigan in between, you know, Michigan and Canada, right up there. That is according to a U.S. official and a congressional source uh, briefed on the matter. It appears that members of Congress from Michigan are learning more about this uh, in conversations with the Pentagon today. I want to read to you what Congresswoman Slotkin tweeted uh, just in the last few hours or so saying, quote, the object has been downed by pilots from the U.S. Air Force and National Guard. Great work by all who carried out this mission, both in the air and back at headquarters. We're all interested in exactly what this object was and its purpose. We're also hearing from other members of Congress from Michigan, uh, Congressman Bergman saying that he is appreciative of what he's calling the decisive action of the fighter pilots here. Uh, so there's a lot more to learn about, you know, just what exactly this object was. I think Arlette, our colleague, is getting some more colleagues from her sources on that. But it's notable that this was actually, you know, something that the United States was able to track potentially in part because NORAD over the last week adjusted its controls to better detect slow moving objects at high altitudes. So what they were able to do is, you know, put into place these FAA temporary flight restrictions into spaces where they were seeing potentially an object come through. The question remains an open one as to if there are more objects coming into U.S. airspace now or if these adjustments are just allowing them to detect them at a higher rate. Paula. Kylie Atwood, thank you. And CNN's Paula Newton joins us now. Paula, what are the Canadian officials saying about this? Yeah, well, suffice it to say that Canadian officials obviously have been also keeping a, a close eye on any high altitude objects, as you say, that Nor NORAD has been surveilling. I mean, look, hey, hey, Lake Huron basically cuts across both uh, the U.S. Uh, and Canadian territories. And for that reason, uh, leaders on both sides, both President Biden and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, would have been kept uh, informed of what was going on with this object. Now, uh, when I asked Canadian officials, they referred me to NORAD, which was responsible for this operation. But uh, defense officials in Canada did promise to get back to us with more information about exactly what went on there. I will note that uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is en route to Yukon. A complete coincidence, uh, Paula, in terms of him being there the day after um, Canada ordered that high altitude object to be shot down uh, in Yukon. What's interesting here, though, was when Prime Minister Justin Trudeau spoke this morning before that trip, um, he did say that they felt um, that this was a threat to civil aviation, and that's why he thought that the object had to come down as soon as possible, unlike uh, those objects uh, that they perhaps had been surveilling for days. The other thing that was interesting here was that uh, that object over Yukon, they had had been surveilling it for at least a day before they actually shot it down. What will be interesting here, Paula, is to note exactly when they detected this object. Was it also coming through that northern path from Canada, or did it float in from somewhere else uh, over the Great Lakes, perhaps? Uh, still a, a lot of questions. Uh, again, uh, Canadian officials promised to get back to us, but right now they are deferring questions to NORAD, which they say uh, took the lead on this operation after getting the order from U.S. President Joe Biden. Carly, the Pentagon is now addressing this incident. What are you learning? Yeah, the Pentagon press office telling reporters just in the last few minutes here, Paula, that uh, this object was shot down over Lake Huron at 2.42 p.m. this afternoon at the direction of President Biden by F-16 fighter jets. They're saying that it didn't pose a military uh, threat, but it did potentially pose a threat to civilian aircraft. And that is because it was traveling, according to this statement, at about 20,000 feet 
elevation. Now, when you think about, uh, you know, everyday air, aircrafts, they fly at about 30,000 feet. So uh, this statement says that the Biden administration, U.S. officials were concerned about the path that this was following on. That this was traveling on, and also that elevation. Now, when it comes to any risk to civilians, there there wasn't any. There were no civilians who were hurt or injured or otherwise affected. Of course, being shot down over uh, water enabled that to be an outcome. And we should note that yesterday there were some questions about an FAA temporary flight restriction put into place in Montana, and there were some uh, questions about what actually triggered that flight restriction. We didn't get a definitive answer on that today. There were a number of differing accounts that we heard. But what this statement from the Pentagon says is that they believe that this object is what actually triggered that flight restriction yesterday. And I just want to read to you exactly what they say here, saying, quote, based on its flight path and data, we can reasonably connect this object to the radar signal picked up over Montana, which flew in proximity to sensitive DOD sites. We did not assess it to be a kinetic military threat to anything on the ground, but assess it was a safety flight hazard and a threat due to its potential surveillance capabilities. Now, surveillance capabilities, the potential for those is key here. Uh, so far, we don't know what those capabilities on board this unidentifiable object actually uh, were, but that, rest assured, is going to be something that those who are doing these recovery efforts, which is now going to be getting underway, are going to be looking for answers to. Paula? Kylie Atwood, thank you. And Republican Congressman Jack Program of Michigan joins us now. Representative, you serve on the House Armed Services Committee. What is your reaction to what the Pentagon just revealed, the takedown of this object near Lake Huron? Well, my reaction is very simple, and that is when the Pentagon called me shortly after it took action because Lake Huron in that area is in my district. Um, number one, decisive action, using the right equipment, the F-16, using the right type of munition to do, to, to do the takedown. But now the big part... Uh, as was mentioned by, by Kylie a minute ago, is the recovery piece to understand. And Lake Huron is very, very cold this time of year. They're going to have to use some special diving capabilities to get down there. The good news is Lake Huron is not that deep, not like Lake Superior. But the, the need to take decisive action by Northern Command, the Department of Defense, is what we need because we've seen it over the past few weeks. Um, there are some challenges to our sovereign airspace. And this is the third object shot down in just three days. How concerned are you about this pattern? OK, I just lost your audio. It uh, try one more time. Sure thing. This is the third object shot down in just three days. How can uh, it seems like we've lost the lost the congressman. We will go to our expert panel and try to circle back with Congressman Jack Berger. All right, let's talk more about this with CNN military analyst, retired U.S. Air Force Colonel Cedric Layton, and CNN National Security Analyst Juliet Kayan. Colonel Layton, Juliet, thank you so much for being with us. I, I want to get your reaction to what we just heard from the Pentagon. Juliet, I want to start with you. Uh, so it's just a confirmation of, of what we had been reporting, which is essentially we, we still don't know what the object is. I think what's really important is uh, the military is, is acknowledging that they are getting lots of positives now because after what happened with the Chinese balloon, they are now opening up the aperture. They're getting more positives. They are then assessing what it is in the sky. If it is unmanned, if it is a threat to commercial aviation, and if shooting it down is not going to harm Americans, basically the assumption is we're shooting it down at this stage until we figure out what this is. It does not mean we know it's the Chinese. It does not mean that it's simply these, these potential positives because of, of we're looking harder after what happened with the Chinese balloon. And I think we should just anticipate that at this stage until we can identify uh, what it is that they're finding uh, once they shoot it down. And that, and I think any other speculation could be very dangerous for uh, our relations uh, and, and could um, honestly uh, harm Americans because we will be so convinced that this is enemy, uh, 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 that these are enemy balloons or whatever they are, mm -hmm. that we will we could potentially 
aid calculations that do not fit the risk at this stage. So that's sort of where we are right now, and I anticipate we are going to get more of these at this stage. So great point. Colonel Layton, what's your reaction to this latest development from the Pentagon? Yeah, I think, you know, as Julia said, this does confirm a lot of what we had previously been talking about. One of the key things uh, I thought was very interesting was the fact that they mentioned uh, that uh, the surveillance part of this was a definite possibility. So this seems to lend credence to the idea that uh, these are, in fact, surveillance craft of whatever type. Uh, and I think we should treat them as such until we know much more. And that means, you know, taking security measures at our bases, at our other government installations, uh, and even for personnel, to, uh, you know, people in the civilian sector, uh, to be somewhat cognizant of the possibility that cell phone co conversations could be intercepted uh, by the Chinese. They're already being intercepted in many cases anyways, but it's just one of those things that is a part of the new reality Reality. And uh, it, uh, you know, these devices can, in some ways, uh, you know, make that even more of a plausible threat uh, to to people, uh, both the normal people, normal civilians, and people who are in government service.